Hello, I'm Atubo Joe. Now, today is Friday. Praise God. Now, all week, actually from last week, we've been talking about the laws of prosperity. Listen, if you will sit down with these things I'm sharing with you, you see, sometimes we, we expect so much from God, but we forget to realize that God demands so much from us. As for God, he has finished his part. Listen, the Bible says the works we are finished. When? From the foundation of the world. God thought about blessing you. He thought about prospering you from the foundation of the world. So what's stopping me from prospering? You! He said, but, but I pray, I, 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 I tithe, I give, I do. Your attitude, your words. What are you expecting? You know, sometimes you see believers think, you know, I'm just praying that God will uh, bless me with someone in a position of authority. So that you do what? And so that, you know, I'll get contract and do what? And, and get blessed. You know, just give me one, you know, wicked contract. Now, you are supposed to guide that one to do right in office. Not to go steal like the, the, the others are stealing. You see, now why are you thinking that way? So you know, because that, you know that guy, that my neighbor, ah, he just knew someone that was in government too, and just one job, one contract they gave to him. And then in your mind, man, if, if I have someone, they will do our own. Do what? Steal? Now, of course, you can get honest jobs from the government and you execute it and you, 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 you get blessed, you get, you know, of course, you'll be paid and things like that. Now, get what I'm saying. Your attitude must be different. As for God, whether someone is in government or not, it doesn't limit the power of God. Praise God. <laughs> See, now that's why I talked talk to you about laboring in the land. See, you've got to labor in the land and labor well. That's how the land of the nation will bless you. It doesn't matter who's in authority. You've got God and then you've been obedient to the land. Come on. Come on. What did God say? If you are willing and you are obedient, you will do what? You will eat the good of the land. That land includes your nation. You're the land of your nation. Praise God. So, so quit thinking like the world. Drop the world system. Let me tell you this. Proverbs 10, 22 says, The blessing of the Lord. It, let me read from the Amplified Version. Proverbs 10, 22. It says, The blessing of the Lord, it makes truly rich and he i want you to catch this and he talking about god the blesser he adds no sorrow with it neither does toiling increase it listen when god chooses to bless you he blesses you well he doesn't require your toiling to add to the blessing he doesn't require any sorrow from you. He, he doesn't tell you, you, you know, I'll bless you, but you have to work hard. That's not God for you. Now, now, God loves hardworking people, but you need to understand what hardworking is. Hardworking doesn't mean, you know, you're struggling, running helter skelter. Hard work before the Lord, it means putting your head to work. Getting thoughts from heaven and bringing them into the world. Now, that is hard work in the kingdom of God. Getting the wisdom of God, receiving ideas from the Lord. Now, sitting down and making that thing work. That's how God operates. Because as God's children, we bring innovations into the world. That's the promise that God has given to us. He said he will give us hidden secrets. See? Treasures of darkness and hidden secrets, hidden, hidden, hidden treasures in hidden in, in secret places. Now he gives us wisdom, and by his wisdom, we attract treasures on the earth. Now that's how the kingdom of God functions. So that's why you must be in the place of fellowship with the Lord, and you will be receiving wisdom. Listen, don't think that God is going to prosper you the way the world prospers its people. It doesn't work that way. And let me tell you this. Take it home. If you get prospered or if you prosper by the world system, you are going to lose it. But I prayed and God, listen, if you prosper by borrowing, if you prosper by cheating, if you pro by whether cheating the government or anyone, if you prosper that way, you will eventually lose that prosperity or lose that blessing. You know why? God, who has prospered you, 
doesn't need any man to help him. He does it his own way. And it is your job to believe him, do what he commands you to do, and be patient for him to respond. That's why the Bible says, don't give up before the due day. It says, don't, don't get tired of doing good. Because in the due season, you will reap if you faint not. So patience is required when you're working with the Lord. You do your part. That's why the Bible says you have need of patience. After you have done the will of God, that you will inherit the blessing. You will inherit the promise. Everything God has promised you. I stand here this day and I tell you this. It is time for you to begin to receive it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, step out today and this whole weekend. And the Spirit of God will begin to show you what belongs to you. He will lead you to your inheritance. He will lead you to the blessing of God that God has given you. And it is without sorrow. Praise God. Have a wonderful weekend. Now I've got some series of messages I've preached on this. And you can make a request and we'll send them across to you. Praise God. Send us a message on any of the numbers or the social media platform. And you will get a response from us. Just get rich in the word. Now, I know this time is short, but let me tell you this. It's the spirit that quickens. The flesh doesn't profit anything. So I believe the little you've heard, the spirit of God will open it up to you. And you will be blessed. Praise God. God bless you. This is Atuba George. Have the best weekend ever. Bye-bye.